Latin America's largest democracy is at a crossroads. Long gone are the days of Brazil's booming economy and its former leader Lula da Silva, once the country's most popular politician, is behind bars. His 12-year sentence, a result of a massive corruption scandal. That's brought widespread distrust among the public and provided the wave of frustration, perfect for the rise of Jair Bolsonaro, who's known for his inflammatory statements. These dirty communists will be banished from our homeland, either leave the country or go to jail. With his coarse and violent rhetoric, Bolsonaro is often compared to U.S. President Donald Trump and the Philippine leader Rodrigo Duterte. And he's even drawing in some traditionally left-wing voters. Until now, I'd never had the chance to vote for someone that represents me 100 percent, someone with a strong hand, someone who's been in Congress for 29 years and was never involved in corruption. Lula's hand-picked candidate for the Workers' Party, Fernando Haddad, only managed to secure 29 percent of the votes in the first round. He's now pinning his hopes on the anti-Bolsonaro crowd. As a black woman and a mother, I feel threatened by Bolsonaro for the life of my children because he incites violence. Everyone knows who Bolsonaro is. Everyone thinks he's going to be protected by the generals who won't let him do crazy things. That's what's happening in Brazil. We will protect him. We will take care of him so he doesn't misbehave. But that's not how it works when you give a presidential pen to a person with his characteristics. Sunday's highly anticipated results could have significant implications for Latin America's largest country's economy and democracy. It is Tian Shan, TRT World, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil.